Hi hey there folks, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all well, hope you've all had a great week. Um, if this is your first time to the channel, then welcome. Hope you enjoy what you're about to see. And hopefully, um, you'll subscribe and come back. Um, if you do, then great, we would love to see you back. Anyway, before we get into this week's project, just a quick mention of the event of the year, Makers Central. Um, this event is happening on the 11th and 12th of May 2019, just in case you're watching this in the future. It's a great event. Um, it happened last year. Unfortunately, I didn't go last year, which I kick myself every single time I talk about it. Um, but I'm definitely going this year. The, the event is hosted by Nick Zamitti of NZ Wood Turning. Um, he's the organiser, him and his team put on a fantastic show last year and this year it's bigger and better. Apparently there's more to do, there's more stages, there's more activities and it's not just for the, the, the turning community, it's for everybody, children, the whole family. There's things that the whole family can do there. So pop over to the Maker Central website and check out uh, some of the stuff that's going on there are loads and loads of different stands there are people making stuff on forges lever work and you know you name it basically anything to do with crafts it's happening and also there are also a lot of ter uh, not turns makers going as well from YouTube so if you want to meet some of your favorite makers then it's possible that they'll be there um, I believe on the website there is a list of all the makers who are going so if you've got some popular makers you want to see check out see if they're going to be there if they are then grab yourself a ticket pop over to the website grab yourself a ticket and hopefully we'll see you there so like i say i'll be there and uh you never know if you're there then come and say hello so anyway this week's project i'm going to do a little bit short project this week the reason being um last week's was a little bit long i do apologize for that but there was a lot of information to cram into a short video. So hopefully yes, you guys don't mind too much. But anyway, what I did a few months ago, I soaked some plywood in some uh, wood dyes. Um, five different colours. No, sorry, six different colours. They were soaking for about two weeks. Um, I'm hoping that the dyes have soaked in far enough into the grain that we're going to get an even colour all the way through but again we won't know until we turn it so what I thought I'd do is I'll turn this into a uh, vase uh, hopefully it's going to turn out to be a cool trendy looking vase um, and um, yeah I'm hoping it's soaked into the grain because it's quite a, it's a it's an exterior ply and I know the exterior ply has waterproof glues in it. So, but if you look close, it does actually look like some of it is soaked in. So I'm hoping it's going to be okay. So anyway, let's get this on the lathe. And uh, we'll see what we can come up with. So I'll meet you guys over at the lathe. Right, so we've got it to round, and my fears have been um, confirmed that it hasn't soaked into the green. But I'm not going to worry about it because I'll turn a shape and I will recolor it. So uh, it gives me a chance to have a play with some groovy colors. So anyway, I'm not going to worry about it too much. So what I'm going to do is. Um, I'm going to shape it, I want a wide bit at the top and I want to swan neck down to a stand at the bottom and then obviously we'll put our tenon and all that on the end and obviously we'll cut that off afterwards. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to rough shape it to the shape I have in my head. I know, strange, most probably a strange shape but um, so yeah. I'm going to shape it now and we'll see what we come. Obviously with plywood we have to be careful 
because of the chipping out on it but I don't know we'll see see what happens it's a piece of plywood at the end of the day if worse come the worst we'll uh, burn it on the fire but anyway let's uh, get a shape and see what we can do Right, so we have our shape. So obviously I'm gonna part this off here so we'll lose all that. I've only done that to get the tendon on it. So I've got my rough shape I want. So I'm gonna get it sanded up now. There'll be a little bit of sanding because of uh, obviously it's plywood. I may fill it, I may not. Depends on how it sands up. So I'm gonna start with a quite coarse sandpaper. I'm gonna use 80 grit to sand it and hopefully take it up to maybe 600 and then I may think about doing some uh, colouring. I see we've got a bit of red in there so the red obviously soaked in better than any other colours but I may put some stripes down I don't know yet I don't know I'm in two minds Right, so I've sanded that up to 600 now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it because I don't want to color it and then we damage it through turning it so I want to flip it and turn out the middle and then we can um, give it a bit of color that's my plan anyway whether it'll work that way or not is another matter but time will tell Right, I'm going to use a force in a bit to take out the centre. The reason being it's just a little bit easier to um, do and um, there ain't so much, there won't be so much finishing work. will do, I am down, let's have a measure up, it's down there nearly three inches, so we're to about there, so yeah that'll, that's plenty deep enough, so um, yeah, we'll get that finished off with the tools and give it a bit of contour on the top there and see how we go. Right, so I've got my shape now. I've sanded the outside to 600 and shaped the, and sanded the inside. So now for some colour. Now I don't know whether to just go variable colours or whether to try and get some of the stripes back in it. As you can see, we've still got a bit of red in there but the red is the only one that has really taken so I'm wondering whether I should do that bit there red if I do that then I've got to do all the stripes in their individual colours and I don't think that's going to look quite right so I think what I'm going to do is I am going to um, put some several different colours on it alright so I have some of these chestnut spirit stains um, I've got several different colors but the colors I'm gonna have a play with are uh, this blue one 
green, purple, orange, red and royal blue. So I'm going to sort of just put some bits about it and uh, basically see what happens. Um, nothing ventured, nothing gained as they say. So do you start with the lightest through to the darkest or do you try just put them in? I'd say you start with the lightest to the darkest so I'm going to go for orange first. So give it a good shake and we'll go for it. <laughs> 